Forbes magazine, there are five indisputable reasons why eight out of 10 businesses fail. And although the entire list is definitely worth a read, it is the second reason on this list that is the subject of today's video. Hi, Tony Newman here, and welcome to another episode of the Innovation Advantage video series, videos that help you use innovation and customer experience to drive more customers, more revenue, and more growth in your business. And if you have ever struggled with how to differentiate your business in today's crowded marketplace, then today's episode will be perfect for you. Because as luck would have it, the second most prevalent reason that eight out of 10 businesses fail is no real differentiation in the marketplace. Read lack of unique value proposition. Now here's the challenge with value propositions and differentiators. We all believe we have them. We all believe that our customers understand them. And we all believe that although some companies may struggle with this whole concept of differentiation, we actually have clear, concise, and compelling differentiators that actually help us drive growth in our business. And you know what? If you're one of those companies for which that is true, then congratulations. This episode may not be for you after all. But in 25 years of working with organizations to help them use innovation to drive growth in their business, I can honestly say that more often than not, what most organizations consider to be their compelling brand differentiators are actually not so compelling after all. And although the truth of that might be hard to take in today's economic reality, although the truth may hurt, Denial is definitely deadly. A few years ago, I had the privilege of presenting to an elite group of insurance brokers from a Fortune 500 company. Now, as I always do prior to my presentation, I interviewed a handful of these brokers just to get a sense of what business looked like for them from the front lines. And I asked them to share with me what they thought were their brand's compelling differentiators. Because of course the insurance industry is highly competitive and increasingly commoditized. And without exception, each one of those brokers shared with me with an almost palpable frustration, the gap that they believed existed between what the C-suite thought were their compelling brand differentiators and what the brokers knew to be true. What I mean by that is the C-suite was convinced that their compelling brand differentiators were the fact that they were the largest company and that they had the longest standing reputation in the industry. What the brokers knew was that although customers and clients felt that that was impressive, those were not really compelling brand differentiators. They were not enough to compel the clients to work with this company as opposed to their competitors. And what made matters worse, in the context of my research, I discovered that several of my clients' competitors were actually doing a much better job at demonstrating and differentiating their unique value proposition to their ideal clients. So I decided to share what I'd learned from the brokers and what I'd discovered in my research with a group of senior executives. And the answer came back to me loud and clear. Butt out. Well, they might have said it a little more politely than that, but not so much. So on the one hand, I had 400 elite brokers desperate to have the tough conversation and face the tough truth about this gap in value perception because they wanted desperately to move the company forward. And on the other hand, I had a C-suite full of executives in complete denial about the gap and desperate to hold on to the past. So I gave my presentation and let's just put it this way. The brokers loved me and I won't be getting invited back anytime soon. Now let me be clear, I'm okay with not getting invited back. You know, one of the things that I know makes us different here at the Innovation Advantage is that we're prepared to ask those tough questions. And in fact, I think our clients count on us to ask those tough questions because like you, they're smart enough to know that if they're not getting the results that they want, then something has to shift. 
And if it was easy to figure out what that something was, wouldn't you have done it already? Tough questions make great companies great. And although facing those tough questions may hurt, denying the truth of those tough questions will definitely be deadly. Just ask Blockbuster, ask Blackberry, ask Borders. The problem with value propositions is we sit around in fancy boardrooms with high price consultants and we focus on what we think our customers want. We focus on what we believe makes us different in our customers' eyes. But here's the hard truth, folks. The hard truth is that a value proposition has absolutely no value unless it differentiates you from your toughest competitors. And we don't need to look any further than the story that I just shared to know that the stories that we tell ourselves in the boardroom, well, there could be a huge gap between what we convince ourselves in those boardrooms and what is the actual truth of how our customers perceive the value that we deliver. So where's your gap? Think about what you believe to be your top three most compelling brand differentiators. And then I'm gonna ask you to go to the comments section below and please answer the following two questions. But I'm gonna ask you to be brutally honest with yourself. I'm gonna ask you to face the hard truths because remember, although the truth may hurt, denial could be deadly. So question number one, in the eyes of your ideal customers, are your compelling brand differentiators actually compelling? And question number two, do your compelling brand differentiators truly differentiate you from your toughest competition? As always, please share as much as you would like, because remember, the more you share, the more we learn, and the more we learn, the more we grow. We have also provided a link to a simple worksheet underneath this video so that you can continue the conversation with your teams. As always, I encourage you to head over to TonyNewman.com where you'll find the blog filled with more videos, podcasts, and downloadable resources that can help you grow your business. And while you're there, please remember to sign up for our email list. Become an Innovation Advantage Insider. And not only will you receive our regular insider's report with our best content from the blog, but you'll also receive exclusive offers, insights, and opportunities that we only share with our Innovation Insider family. So thank you for dropping by. I realize that your time is valuable, and I appreciate that you've chosen to spend some of it with me today. I look forward to catching up with you in the next episode of the Innovation Advantage video series. But until then, remember, the truth hurts, but denial is deadly. Imagine the possibilities.